In this demonstration, I will be using a simple ball grid array geometry where a multibody part was instanced in Design Modeler to form an array of parts that have common faces along the top and bottom plates. You can see how the improvements in multi-zone to use name selections for source faces and using one multi-zone control across many parts is helpful in the setup of this model. When the model is meshed, one part is meshed with conformal mesh between bodies, but the part mesh is then copied to all the instances, so the mesh is not conformal between the instances. Match controls, or hard edge sizing controls, should be used so that the mesh spacing is similar so that the node merge operations will work. In this example, I set up the mesh controls for one part and then use extend to instances so that the same mesh controls are on all of the parts. I do this for the edge controls, the bodies in the multi-zone mesh method, and the source faces in the multi-zone mesh method. After meshing, a mesh edit object can be inserted and we can use a node move operation to see that the mesh is not conformal. We will undo the node move operation so that the nodes are again consistent. We can then insert a node merge operation and we want to merge all nodes between common faces. After the node merge operation, we can again move a node to see that the mesh is now conformal. This demonstration shows some of the improvements that have been made in 16.0 to improve the workflow of repetitive parts.